We're standing here in the Academy of Natural Sciences Museum uh, in front of uh, Hadrosaurus fulci, uh, which is the very first dinosaur skeleton ever mounted anywhere in the world. So back in the 1850s, a discovery was made where people first did not quite know what they were looking at. They were finding big bones along a ravine very near Haddonfield, New Jersey. People were just given pieces of it as, you know, hey, this is weird, why don't you take it home? They were used as doorstops. The, no one really with sort of an academic or scientific background had learned about these. And there was so much of this Haddonfield fossil preserved led to the first recreation of a dinosaur skeleton ever in a natural history museum. And that was here at the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia. So we have a history with this dinosaur, this one individual, and we're very proud of, of Hadrosaurus fulci, of Hattie, as a lot of people call it. One of the questions that a lot of people ask is, well, okay, I see the skeleton, but how do we know what the muscles were like on this animal? How do we know what the skin was like, the textures and such? All sorts of questions which sort of bridge the gap between science and art. You know, why do so many people have these images of dinosaurs in their heads when they've never seen a dinosaur before? So I spent a lot of time with my hands inside iguanas and alligators and crocodiles and looking at the muscle structures and looking at the way they attach the bone. You're still working with where one muscle attaches uh, at point A and where it goes to point B. And you can still see all those marks on the bones. So that's what's neat about this exhibit and being able to tie that into such a historically important dinosaur is really fun.